Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Today's episode is all about the Surat Beauty Smoky Eye Batons. Now these are not new to the line, but he did just release five new colors and I purchased four out of these five new colors from Space NK. If you watched that haul video, you saw me sort of swatch some of them and um, show you what they're all about. So anyway, I um, wanted to do more of an in-depth review on them and to actually give you some eye swatches of those four new colors. So if you're interested in these smoky eye batons, then just keep on watching. So when I first came across Surat Beauty, it was at a Sephora in New York City and the gondola that displayed all the Surat Beauty products was just absolutely beautiful. You know, it was all black, it was so sleek, the font was so minimal, and I just, I was like, I, I need to know what this is all about. So the smoky eye batons were the first things that I actually purchased from the Surat Beauty line. And I was so intrigued by this product because it comes with uh, like a liner and a powder product all in one and I thought the packaging was so cool I just I just had to have it so I actually purchased the black brown and deep purple colors that were part of the original line so the Fumé Noir is the black the Fumé Brun is or Brun is the brown and then the vapor mauve is the kind of plum purpley color so those are the three original colors i think those were the only colors that were part of the original line so i got the smoky eye batons home i put on the liner as i normally put on eyeliner i put on the eyeshadow like you know like i dusted it over the the liner a little bit and i went out for the night and in about I don't know, maybe an hour or two later, I went into the ladies' room and I noticed that it had smudged all over and I thought, oh, oh my goodness. So I kind of cleaned myself up and I thought, well, it is kind of humid out or whatever. Anyway, long story short, I tried these a couple more times and the liner just kept smudging all over my face and I would end up looking like a panda. I was really disturbed because between me buying this and realizing that you know, these are not for me. I had purchased a bunch of other Surat Beauty things and absolutely loved them, especially the blushes, the eyeshadows. You guys have heard me go on and on about it. The foundation, which all of which I have on today. Um, anyway, I watched a Troy Surat uh, video where he talks about how these are his absolute favorite products. And since I'm obsessed with the line, I am therefore obsessed with him. And I thought, oh my God, if these are like his favorite things this this is like this is like his creation he is like so proud of these I was like okay I need to get into them and then they released five new colors four of which I got I do need to get the fifth one which is like a navy color um I said you know what I am going to I am going to learn to love these and I'm going to figure out how to wear them because obviously I'm not using them properly fast forward to just a couple weeks ago um, Troy Surratt was doing a live chat on the new Sephora community. I'm not sure what it's called, um, but it used to be like community.sephora.com. Anyway, he was doing a live chat on there and I was actually stuck in an airport. So I logged in and I asked him, I said, you know, I, I love your smoky eye batons. I love the concept of them, but I'm having a hard time using them. They smear everywhere. And, um, he replied, most graciously, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe he replied. Um, but basically he said that you need to um, sort of burnish the powder into the liner. And so um, I actually have a viewer from my channel who commented on my Space NK haul when I hauled these batons. Um, she said that she saw his reply to my question and she, the word burnish is what stuck out in her mind as well. So when I think of burnish, I think of like wood burnishing, um, when you polish wood, but it is sort of a very long process to sort of polish the wood to like the shine that you want. So I thought, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I put on the liner and I actually took the sponge tip side of it and I didn't just, you know, before I was just sort of, you know, kind of painting around it. I apply a little bit on top of painting around it. What I did um, instead was I really rubbed it in to the liner, which I'm now also realizing is more of a cream shadow. Um, it definitely has a softer, uh, more blendable texture to it than an eyeliner. These liners are really meant to blend out and so this sponge tip applicator is like perfect for this burnishing that you need to do 
to add the shadow onto the liner. So I wanted to document, you know, I wanted to make a video of my wear test with them, but when I was actually trying this burnishing out, I was on the road and I just didn't have time to actually videotape myself. So um, take my word for it, that makes all the difference. If you're interested in these smoky eye batons, make sure when you apply the liner that you take the powder uh, sponge tip on top and you really just kind of go back and forth and back and forth. And you'll actually see the liner underneath really like kind of blend out and then start to set. You'll see it kind of start to set down and you'll see this powder shadow actually become more pronounced on top of it. It's actually really cool if you, um, if you take a close look while you do it. So I'm filming this one section after I finish filming everything else, so apologies for this weird interruption. But I did want to mention that the packaging on the new Smoky Eye Batons has changed a little bit. So these are the old ones. Um, and you can see that the bottoms have no differentiation, that they're all black. And these are the new ones. So there's a little bit of a more pronounced uh, metallic finish. It goes from matte to metallic here, and you can see it's a little bit brighter than the old one. And also the bottoms of these batons are color coordinated to the color that is inside. So I thought that was worth mentioning because I love that little attention to detail and the little, I think, improvement over the old packaging. So back to the rest of the video. All right, so first up I have the color. Salma. I'll play it again. Salma. And I'll flash all the names up for you, but that means ashes um, in English. So this is a really beautiful taupey color. So here is the liner on top and then the powder on the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is work the powder into the liner so you can see them together. I'm doing this in the viewfinder, so I hope I'm getting it. That's what it looks like all smudged out. It's just really beautiful. This, I think, is probably the most natural of all the colors. This is a great, like, everyday, daytime kind of smoky look. I think it's gorgeous. You can't go wrong with this color. It's really, really beautiful. So next up we have... And that the translation is leave in smoke. And I think this is actually Spanish. At least that's what Google Translate is detecting. Um, but I think it's partir en fumé, and this is like a really um, gorgeous mid-tone gray color. And let me just swatch the pencil and the powder. So what I love about this one is that the powder is silvery, so it gives like the smokiness a really kind of intergalactic look. So let me go ahead and smudge out the liner. Oh my god, this is so hard to do in the viewfinder. <laughs> but that is what, yeah, that is what that looks like all smudged out. So it tones down the liner a little bit and gives it this really pretty reflective silvery sheen. It's just really cool. The next color is... It is sin. And it literally means spark in English. And what I love about this one, let me swatch it for you before I start talking about it. So here it is. It is like a very, very warm brown color. It's just gorgeous. It's like very chestnutty. It's like really, really great if you don't want something that's too, too deep. I just think it's lovely. Let me go ahead and um, smoke out this liner. Look at how pretty that is. Absolutely gorgeous. And I just love that it has the hint of warmth with all the warm colors going on. I have a lot of things that I can pair this with. Um, if I don't think this is enough, I can go ahead and pair it with like a warm eyeshadow very easily, warm lips. I just absolutely love it. So that is Etincelle. And then finally, this is actually what I have on my eyes right now, and this is... Canon de beauté. Or Canon de beauté. So this, um, again, is what I have on my eyes today, and it is a very uh, reddish, 
slightly plummy color. It's so cool um, because it's just, you know, at first you think, oh, it's red. Oh no, it's kind of purple. You kind of can't decide what it is. It's sort of right in between. It is like an oxblood color. And I absolutely love it. This one could be my favorite. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna smoke out the liner here. So that is the Canon de Beauté. Absolutely gorgeous. I love all of these new colors, but I just think these are so awesome to throw in to your purse, to travel with. Like imagine having basically an entire eye look in one of these things. So I just absolutely love them, highly recommend. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in my comments section. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video.